Give it the doubt with yesterday being his debut day. And he's got out the traps very quickly. Double 12 for a break of throw. The and the one they'll lead to Rusty Jake. To end this match. He just wants to get it done. Doesn't want to do the good work by missing a handful of the outer ring. 12. Doesn't go. Dennis and Dennis is 93. slowly ticking his way down towards a double. Slowly is the right word. And that leaves 89. Needed two perfect darts to get his first leg against Rusty this 41. week. But now this will be match dart number eight for Rusty. Where well, it's dragged his average down by the best part of 10 points. No oh, sure. and his bus has gone the other side. 52. You sincerely hope this is not going to infect his entire day. But this won't please him. Game show at all. Flag. Dennis van der Ender. Let's see if it pays off. Double 10. We've matched darts Game 11. And eventually, Rusty, Rusty Jake Rodriguez. Rodriguez gets over the line. He'd be a little bit frustrated that he had to work a little bit harder than he needed to to pick the points up. But overall, it was a very, very good performance from the Austrian. Don't be kidded by that 84.3 average because his scoring power is much better than that. It was around about 91 until he started missing a few match darts. But he gets the better of Dennis van der Ender by four legs to one, no less. Coming up after the break, Ron Moonenkamp up against Joe Mernon. 42. And he's found himself in another one here. One more double will give 45. him 12 Wonderful points 32. from six games. Double 16 for Moonenkamp. Up for eight. In it goes. Game shot in the match. And that Rob makes Mullenkamp. it six of the best for Ron Moonenkamp. He gets over the line against Joe Mernon by four legs to one. Continuing his dominance to the top of the group. That the tail of the tape from that particular encounter. Next up, Brower against Carter. Oh. So Johan is back for the match, wanting Tots for a 4 0 victory. And Game Tots is found. And Johan Brower gets the better of Joshua Carter by four legs to nil. An 80 average in the end. 33% on the doubles. It was enough to get over the line for the Dutchman. Well, that puts to an end the first round of fixtures as Johan has a chat with Paul Hinks about what he was throwing in that match. That was what he was throwing in that match. The stats on the left-hand side of your screen. We're going to take a short break. When we return, Joe Mernon takes on Dennis van der Ender. Yeah. Put the shots on. Double 18. Oh, Dennis. He forgot the detonator. And so Mernon puts itself 3-0 to the Mernon. good. It's not quite TNT darts, but it's doing the job. And the early pass of play here is the difference between the top three and the bottom three becoming air apparent. Tots of 4 0 success. And Mernon runs away with proceedings. He beats Dennis van der Ender by four legs to nil. Four from four on the doubles. Real good performance that from Joe. Just beginning to really build, isn't he? 88 41 the average. 100% on the doubles. He beats van der Ender by four legs to nil. Coming up after the break, we're going to watch Rusty Jake Rodriguez in action up against Joshua Carter. A pretty good performance. And Rodriguez is going to come back. Oh, no. no. 138 and no score alert. Places where you can go into pods and watch the Northern Lights. Done it. Can Rusty Jake do this? Yes, he Game can. And that Jake is Rodriguez. a moment to light up the blue touch paper for Rodriguez. The first Ball time plus check out of the day. And he leads 3-0. Rusty Jake Car 28. And this double 14. To seal Game a 4 0 success with a 13 data. Rusty Jake Rodriguez in the space of eight minutes flat beats Joshua Carter by four legs to nil. The top three really are taking command. Sure well, we usually talk about David versus Goliath, but if old folk tales are to be believed, it's the stone against the cabbage. Tops. 2-0 Moonen Camp with the break. Where's he going to start? 51 out the way. How about him at tops? 
No, no is the answer. He's done all the hard work to get back in the game from 3-0 down. And now Camp will step back up for tops. Double 10. To get himself James over the, the line. Double but just, he had to work for that in the end. Yuri Brown had an opportunity himself to win that match. He'll be disappointed not to have taken it. However, that's the tail of the tape from that particular encounter. Moon and Kappa 4 free winner. Carter and Mernon is after this short break. Well, these days at the ADC, the any event sanctioned by them, all screen must be completed via a tablet. Oh, it's a no look 180! One it's not just a no look 180, it's a no emotion no look 180 from Mernon is the most important thing. You can't afford any mistakes with Carter sat on a finish. Game but he finds the double German. five to seal a win in five legs. He beats Josh Carter by four legs to one. Getting over the line with a 76-56. And that's despite missing 10 darts at a double. Next up, Van der Ender up against Ron Moolenkamp. That has been his miss on tops today so far. Just a little bit under target. Hence why he's been on double 10 so much. So double 10. To seal the 4-1 victory for one Moonlink camp. That's now eight in a row for the Bomb, who is making light progress of this group A so far. He beats Dennis van der Ender by four legs to one. That's despite missing 14 darts at a double. That the tail of the tape from that one. Johan Brower and uh, Rusty Jake Rodriguez. They'll be in action for us. And that's after this short break. Tom, tops. Game shot on the first leg. And a little bit of a let out of emotion from Johan Brower. His first time top of the day. In fact, only the Same second we've Richard seen all day. First... Clear at the end of today's play. And remember, Camp and Rusty Jake are still to play. But it's this tops of 3 0. 4 1 12. What a performance this is from Johan Brower. He leads 3-0, two ton plus checkouts, like three from three on his doubles, and he is enjoying himself. Isn't he just? If Rusty hits this, it's a break. We're back on throw. Oh, not again. Okay. He's got nine left. He might go three double three because he's got a marker. Welcome to the weird world of weird finishing. And it's happened again. There was so much intelligence in that shot. I applaud that. That reminds me of Dave Chisel in Belgium Six about 18 legs, months ago. Match, chance, Brower. One dart in hand. And it's going to be a double nine Game for the win. The and look what it means. He gets over the line against Rusty Jake Rodriguez 4-2. In what at times was a testosterone field encounter. Rusty Jake straight back down the stage. Brower, well, we're going to have to literally mop him off the stage, I think. A 4-2 win. And he's still giving it the big licks. Still 20. It's double 10 to take us all the way. And we are going to go the distance. Down on this particular matchup. Doubles have been excellent by both. Game shot on the match. No Josh more match Carter. starts needed. It is Josh who does the double over Dennis van der Ende. And that means that he cements a place at fifth in the table after this one. That's what you saw. That wasn't a bad game at all. In fact, way above what they've been doing all week long. And congratulations to Josh who got his first two maximums of this week with some excellent finishing as well on the outer ring at 50%. When we come back, we've got five more matches to go. And it's going to be the ever volumized Brower up against the never volumized Joe Mernon. He might have to burn a dart to get to a double. That is an incredible dart Mernon. from Joe. Oh my. I thought he'd have to move. Third leg, Joe. Is if 74 is plucked. Top it is big dart, big moment. 54. And that could be Joe a Carter, big 70. miss because it would move Mernon up to third a victory by this scoreline. Tops it is. 
Tops it isn't found and it's more Johan missed opportunities for Shaki. Well, Johan Brower in his previous visit did a Jim Carrey thing. Nobody can escape the claw. But he's got Jim his claws into way. Mernon Johan now. Brower. Match opportunity. Oh, he went for the ball. And he Jim does Johan win the match. Johan. Very, very interesting ending. This is Joe Mernon here in week 12, flexing his entertaining muscle. We've got a no at 180 with no emotion, and he went for 50 for the bull with one dart to win the match. And he has done. He's won the game by four legs to two. Average is almost identical, but the doubling again from Mernon was very, very useful at 50%. When we come back, it will be advantage Mühlenkamp. He's looking to get to 18 points and nine matches undefeated. His darts go in and the shape of his dart, it blocks and obscures the bed of the double eight. Rodriguez now looking to step in by finding the target one's just missed. And that yeah, 108 on level proceedings up at two apiece. Just letting out a little bit of emotion. You could tell the frustrations just began Did to ratchet up a little game bit. On. But a level game we are at at 2-2. Two -two. If this does, Ron's lead will be eight points. It feel like it's almost unassailable. It's tops. It's awkward, though. That's why he has to shuffle across. He doesn't like it. He has to slalom one way down the hockey, then the other. He cannot find the right angle. But it's a must-find. He's asked Rusty Jake, does he want to have a go at it himself? He has got no idea how to go for this because of the awkwardness of it. But why does he find a way? And what a way to win a match which puts him eight points clear at the top of the table. That was miraculous for Moulinkamp. He's had a few mistrays on that 82. It's a few times someone's hit a three on the back of the 82. But he's recovered with dart two. And this is for the match. Double 11. A big celebration on the back of a big win for Johan Brouwer. A 4-0 win against Dennis van der Ende to end his day. Well, that's what he made of that. Don't apologise, man. You've won. That's the tail of the tape. 4-4-4 four, four, four on the doubles. But the scoring power needed a little bit more. Josh Carter, one moon in camp, is live and next. Double 16. Well, because it's awkward, he's going to hit it. I'm with you. Just pick an angle, Ron. You're going to hit it anyway. He's in Rob Cross territory here. There you go. The Dart of the week, Lincoln. right there. Voting over. Well, he's having his own competition and Josh, Josh enjoying first. himself. It's better trying to... Ron's Run 71st four. at double today. Perfection repeated for Ron Moulinkamp for the second day in a row. He has completed the card. 20 points from a possible 20. And he is almost in a position where he is unassailable in this group. That's a tale of the tape. A 4-1 win for Moulin Camp in that particular encounter. That's despite missing 10 darts of the double. He had a real flurry of 180s. Three, in, three successes scoring visits. Our last game, it's Rusty Jake Rodriguez and Joe Mernon. I think a couple of them are going to be very, very happy with their work. How happy is Joe about that? You're never going to know because he doesn't tell you with any facial expression at all. He gives you about as much emotion as a painting. However, Game shot there's emotion the there for a 164. Across the line as of yet. They both have the same trouble on the left hand side of the board. And we may not be going all the way. Rusty Jake with car 32. Rusty's now got three darts at 32. Can he find a way over? The shake of the head means that there's nothing here he can see. We've seen some miracle doubles today. No score. Joe the last eight. one isn't going to be like of that. Five darts missed to complete this match. He might need another leg. Game shot on the sixth leg, Joe Mernon. It's been in Rusty Jake Rodriguez's hands 
but it's one he may let slip. Merlin comes back for tops, and now double ten. Now he's 20. missed a visit Rufy worth of match darts. 14. It's eight three in match darts. Joe's missed three. Rusty's missed eight. He struggled over the line in his first game of the day. And he goes inside. No score. Joe and so Merlin will come back for more. It's like a rugby score. It's 10-3 in missed match darts. The tension of the Super Series. Double five. 15. Doesn't go. Rusty 16 in total 14. for the match missed by both players. Again, it's that pesky double seven that nobody likes. Surely now. Oh, no and it's bounced Joe in, it's bounced five. out on that slam in the air. Maybe his resignation is to this game being over. Make it 19. 13-6. Is it 13-7? Three. It's 13-8. It's 21 mismatch darts in this contest. Surely now, double seven, both players shake their head. Both players have won it and lost it. But eventually Game. it's Rodriguez Jordan who Mark. gets the victory. Rodriguez. He beats Joe Mernon by four legs to three in a crazy last leg. A crazy match. A 4-3 win for Rusty Jake Rodriguez in that particular affair against Joe Mernon. They missed a plethora of... Match starts between them, but it is Rusty Jake who moves on to 12 points. Moves himself into third in the group. Myself and Paul Nicholson are going to head next door to chat about all the day's action.